Hey everyone, today I have not a storage tech contraption, but instead three small contraptions that don't really deserve their own videos. So here I have a shulker box unloader, a bucket sorter, and down there in the corner, a um, shulker box refiller. You'll see later why that is useful. Now, uh, the first one, the shulker box unloader, this is something I use uh, in my storage to sort out the user input. So some of the user input might just be items. These go straight away to the sorter. But some of it might be shulker boxes, and they can contain more than one item type, so I have to unload them. Uh, now, this is quite compact. It's 2x4x4. Two by four by four. And the most important thing is it handles empty boxes. So here, I can just place the boxes in the uh, dispenser. You can also have some empty ones. So these ones have concrete in them. These ones have nothing. Now, the ones that have concrete in them get emptied in this chest over here. And the ones that uh, have nothing just immediately gets this, get dispensed in this chest over here. And at the end, we always have one shulker box that's left in here. It doesn't really matter. Uh, now, I don't want to go into too much detail about the way the redstone works. Uh, but if you're puzzled by this chest over here, its only purpose is to redirect the redstone so that it doesn't power this piston. Um, now, if we go to the second contraption... This one is a uh, bucket sorter. Now, Mango made a video about this um, this week, uh, but this one is uh, something I developed independently of him, but based on the same principle by Ita, or maybe Spock, I'm not sure, quite sure at this point. Uh, now, the idea is that you have a boat. The boat's uh, hitbox is a bit inside the lava that gets dispensed here. So this breaks the boat, and you can detect that, and then sort lava based on this. Now, um, this... Um, the way this works is a bit different than Mango's. So Mango broke the uh, the boat each time he dispensed something new. Now the problem with this is it requires a piston with a slime block and also a cactus. This makes it quite large. Here I only break the boat when it gets broken by the lava. So we can test it over here. Uh, whoops. I have a chest with a bunch of buckets in them. Don't be bothered by the milk. The milk is just here to represent any uh, unstackable item. It could be cakes or armor or whatever. Now, as you can see, the only thing that breaks the boat is the lava. And then the boats get sucked in by a hopper minecart over here. Then the hopper underneath sucks it up, detects it with a comparator. And this is what allows us to sort out the lava. So all the lava gets up in this chest, all the water in this one, and all the items that are not buckets, essentially, except, well, milk is just random unstackable, essentially, go in this one. Now, uh, there were some people that uh, were asking the order in which you should uh, sort unstackables in Mango's video. So here's how you sort more, most unstackables. Most of it is really trivial. So first thing you sort is shulker boxes, simply because they have other processing to be done, you, like this one. You need to unload them usually. Uh, the way you sort them is you try to put them inside a shulker box. You can put a shulker box inside a shulker box. That's how you sort them. Then you sort potions. And then uh, you just try to put them in a brewing stand. That's how you sort them. Then you can sort um, fountain steels. The way you do this is you just have a dispenser that tries to fire it. Dispensers can't fire the fountain steels. Instead, they'll just stay inside the dispenser. Then afterwards, you can um, store the uh, buckets. Oh, by the way, it's important that you store these ones before the buckets. The reason for that is they all have some kind of weird interaction with dispensers. So if, for instance, you want to, you have a potion in here, then the potion will just get dispensed um, in actual potion form, like a trouble potion. It will explode here. You don't want that. Uh, so that's why you sort these ones first, then buckets, like this one. Then minecarts just by having a rail in front of your dispenser. Boats by having a uh, water in front of your dispensers. And then Wubi showed that you can use zombies to sort armor and um, swords. Then the rest is just completely uh, unsortable. All right, now for the uh, last contraption. This one is a shulker box refiller. So <laughs> this might sound like a completely pointless contraption. The goal for this is to swap the colors of shulker boxes. So currently in the game, there is no way at all to detect the colors of shulker boxes, uh, which is kind of unfortunate. You could do some really nice automation otherwise with this, but eh, I guess Mojang doesn't really care. Um, now, the way this works is you put in your new color for shulker box inside this chest and you put in your shulker box that you want to uh, change the color in this one then the shulker box gets dispensed and here's the important thing it gets unloaded at hopper minecart speed so this is really fast 20 items a second and um, then the items simply get distributed back inside the new shulker box 
then gets broken. This is similar to something Mango showed in uh, an episode recently, just a bit a bit faster and uh, a bit more compact. So here's the new shulker box with a new color. Uh, let's do it again because I want to show something uh, that's kind of important. So while you're refilling the shulker box, oh, I mean, while you're unloading this one, it's really important to have activator rails that alternate. So here, this one uh, flips really fast and same for this one. And this is to split the items equally among these two uh, hopper minecarts. Otherwise, most of the items would end up in this one over here, um, simply because of uh, update order, I guess. And this would mean that towards the end, then you'd have way more items in this card over here than you have in this one. And then this would only unload at uh, four, times hop uh, four times hopper speed instead of eight times. So because we always alternate, then these two uh, get completely emptied at the same time. And yeah, it's just faster. I think it takes about a minute 30 to unload an entire, an entirely full shulker box. All right, so uh, that's about it for today. Uh, thank you for watching and have a nice day.